Hello friends, welcome back to Reviews by Dennis. Today I wanted to let you know about an article I recently read. If you have a blog or you have a, uh, a channel such as this that you wanted to help go to that next level, uh, maybe the topic discussion that I'm going to be bringing to your attention today will help you uh, help bring that you know your channel to that next level. Uh, so today I'm going to be kind of covering with you five things that brands look for in social media influencers. Um, a lot of times influencers are people that uh, companies will hire to help promote their items. They will usually uh, provide you with items either at a discount or free cost to you to uh, get the product in your hands so that it can be evaluated so that you can spread information about this product to like your friends, relatives, your viewers, followers and stuff like that. And um, I came across this article about five things that uh, brands look for. For social media influencers and I wanted to help share some of this information with you and hopefully it'll help you out in the long run because I feel like it's helping me uh, I've been doing some of these things that are already in these things so that proves to me because I've seen an increase in my traffic on my particular site so if it's helping me then maybe by me passing the inf information along to you it'll help you along and help you grow your particular brand so first of all um, I'm just gonna give you a quick breakdown of the actual five uh, items First is your average engagement rate, then your consistent branding, then you have uh, follower demographics, then you have uh, previous influencer partnerships, and then the fifth one is professionalism and reliability. So I'm just going kind to of, kind of touch base on uh, these five different uh, topics and um, you know provide that information for you. So recently, the influencer marketing industry has been becoming very, very uh, increasingly popular. And as you see from watching a lot of uh, videos and blogs that might be out there, they're encompassed by a lot of you know celebrities, uh, well-known stars, especially well-known YouTube um, you know personalities that have been out there for years. So since like way back when YouTube start, and um, what we're seeing now, according to this article, is that. Um, a lot of times now, brands are looking for uh, the peer level influencer. They're looking for the average Joe to be able to give their uh, point of view or their review on a particular item to help spread word about their item. So without uh, further delay, let me just go through these five different things brands are looking for and uh, help let you decide. And when it's all said and done, just uh, check out the link in the description below where I, you know, from this article and uh, you can read it for yourself and uh, maybe use it as a bulletin point to help you uh, make your particular site or your particular brand uh, grow and elevate to that next level. So number one, the average engagement rate um, is uh, very important because not all companies are looking at the amount of followers or you know uh, people that you have come into your site uh, sometimes those uh, numbers can be influenced by you know not so uh, positive means true um, and smart brands will look for the uh, the real average engagement which is usually based on stuff like likes uh, comments shares and stuff like that uh, a lot of times the results of having likes, comments, shares and will be more beneficial than the amount of followers that you might have in uh, that's currently coming to be a subscriber on your site or view your site. So number two uh, would be consistent branding. Um, for this, uh, you're going to want to um, try to be unique, uh, give yourself an identity, uh, whether it's using you know colors, styles, and uh, you know hashtags, uh, catchy name, stuff like that. Um, the, the consistent brand and, and being the same all the time really helps in uh, really driving up um, your, your overall presence on your site. Companies want to see that you, you know, you, you're building a brand and you're establishing yourself with a certain way or a certain type of uh, niche that you want to be involved in. If uh, you're all over the board, uh, sometimes it's a little too chaotic and then you're actually going to uh, you know, drive people away because some people are coming there to see a specific type of thing and you're showing them something that they're not interested in and then they lose interest. With number three, we have follower demographics. With that, you want to make sure you have like-minded content to match the audience that you're trying to reach. Uh, for example, if you're trying to um, you know, promote toys, uh, games, and stuff like that, you're catering towards parents that have children and stuff. You don't want to, uh, um, you're not looking to gain the audience of, say, a bunch of golfers. Uh, they don't really correlate together. You want to keep your correlation of your products 
with your target audience together. So that really helps to have your you know follower demographic be very secure. Number four, you want to work on your previous influencer partnerships. Uh, you want to take the uh, previous stuff that you've done and kind of build on that to help establish and make your particular site or channel uh, bigger in that particular area. Uh, for example, if you're doing uh, some cooking, you want to make sure you're using accurate and up-to-date information so that way it's credible and when people check and fact find stuff, they can find out that what you're telling them is true. And based on your previous engagements, they, they all tie together and it shows and establishes you have a good credibility and and you've worked with previous uh, companies and brands that will um, show that you know you have a nice established partnership so that really helps with the credibility of your particular site or channel and lastly number five you want to work on professionalism and uh, reliability you want to make sure you uh, you know keep yourself you know reliable you, you want to make sure everything you say you know is true you're not you know, exacerbating situations, just, you know, the plain facts about the product that you're telling about or the brand and, um, you know, don't embellish things and um, try to be as professional as possible. So with that being said, those are the five uh, traits that, uh, you know, brands are looking for, for people that they're looking for that are influencers. Uh, myself as an influencer, uh, I like to um, utilize uh, IntelliFluence and they have helped me actually help define my brand by bringing me content such as this article here to help um, you know help you know kind of uh, uh, trim off the rough edges of my channel help give me a little more focus and direction so that way I can make my sta channel stand out just a little bit more and also help it grow to that next level the one thing that's nice about IntelliFluence is um, they have uh, a nice uh, free sign up and um, they have a nice marketplace with all kinds of available offers to fit different types of niches all, all, the, all across the board. So um, check those out. I'll have the link for them in the description below as well as a link to this article so you can help find out if this could possibly make, you know, help you with your channel or your blog, you know, or whatever you're doing to uh, create your social presence. And I thank you for stopping by again today here at Reviews by Dennis. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.